Spud Fossil University. Let's take a look at, uh, this guy basically thinks that rock formations are the fossils of giants. I don't know how else to put it. So let's see what his esteemed opinion is on some pictures of rocks and what body parts he think they are. Yes, this is the guy that thought a cave was a vagina. Oh, my friends, I am so excited. We have finally done it. Ten years of smashing a wall. It has come down. They now realize they are in trouble. So they are trying to obfuscate the whole issue here by saying the mysterious paradiolia phenomena turns out to have a surprising bias. <laughs> no. So if you don't know what that is, uh, I only ever see this word written, so I don't know if he pronounced it right, but uh, peridolia, peridolia, peridolia. Someone correct me. Anyway, uh, is a phenomenon where human beings will seek out unintentionally uh, pareidolia. Okay, cool. So pareidolia is basically you look at things and you seek patterns, specifically patterns that look like human features, like faces. Um, you know, anything that's like human. You're basically anthropomorphizing something because your brain, we're social creatures, is trained to detect people. So sometimes we th see things that aren't people, but our brain goes, that looks like people. That's effectively what this guy is doing all the time, as he looks at different things. Um, Nick says, Kavusi, yes. And he thinks that things that look to him like human body parts, but are rock or whatever... He then goes, oh, it must be the fossil of a dead giant, or whatever stupid thing. I thought we were going to talk about gender bias, how males see things and females see just silly things. And they're just going into that. They're not going into what these things really are. They put a couple of little rocks on and make it look like a face to make us... No, this is not the dussy guy. This is the kavussy guy. <laughs> look like idiots. They are the idiots, and I, let me show you how idiotic they are. Okay, the reason I ask for peer review is because I have evidence to present, not just statements. And it has been refused, so I know. Sir, do you have a degree of any sort? How are you going to get published if you don't? In order to be peer reviewed, you would need to have academic peers. And if you are not in academia, if you have not actually studied your whole life, they're not your peers. Why would they review your paper if you don't even know how to properly format a paper and publish it to be reviewed. I have become the peer reviewer and I contacted Brian Forrester today, which I, I, I respect Brian. He goes out and he looks at things, but he says, this doesn't want any answers. And, and I've been trying to correspond with him, you know, pleasantly. And today I just said, I'd like to peer review you. And will you do a Zoom meeting with me? And he said, well, how are you going to peer review? And then he blocked me. So. Nobody wants to engage with me because I have evidence to show that they, they probably don't want to engage with you because you're wasting their time because they're professionals and whatever uh, 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 specific, what's the word I'm thinking of? Whatever specific domain they have research in, have a PhD in, you don't, so why would they waste time talking to you? Imagine if scientists had to deal with every fucking crazy person and take their claim seriously. Look, if you genuinely think you have hypotheses that could revolutionize a field of science, then you need to get into that field of science and actually study it to make sure that your base knowledge on the subject is sound in the first place. Otherwise, you wind up like this guy seeing rock formations as giant penises. They're just walking around in circles and acting like... You know, they, they just want to keep employed, basically, is all I can see. I, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then they should debate me. Nobody will, because I'm, I'm right. I think about virtually everything I'm saying. If you... <laughs> I like that that does imply that sometimes he says things that he doesn't think about. <laughs> Which, hey, we all do, but, you know. Could, could come up with any defense whatsoever against my statements that's what i asked for that's called peer review i am going to try to help the others that have no clue what they're doing that's why i am doing peer review because they are destroying science not me
All right, just this one specimen right here. That's a human lung. That's a rock. And any... Is Broha Blast still here? Broha, you know geology things. Any anatomist that looks at this and says... Broha, is this a human lung or is this a rock? I need your professional opinion. <laughs> that is not a human lung or a lung should be barred from talking about anatomy because they just have no clue. This is the depression of the heart. It's a left human lung. It was DNA tested on this test. You DNA tested a rock? It's a rock! It doesn't have DNA! <laughs> El Minato says that's a kidney stone. Even if it was a fossil, fossils do not have DNA. <laughs> Fossils are, are, oh god, fossils are basically impressions of a bone or organism that once existed, but all of the original material that was organic has been replaced by inorganic material. That's why it's a fossil! Mr. Sir Knight Kingyo says, Hi Hannah, just so you know, there are some brain injuries that can cause people to see visual disturbances and pareidolia. The research is new and can be found on Nord. It usually is caused by an inciting incident without damage uh, to the thought and reasoning. Interesting. Evil Juggler says, Finally made it for a stream. Glad you could. Bitter Grin says, Looked it up and the Kavusi cave was actually carved by an ancient religion around uh, 1000 BCE. Interesting. Maps and Mimics with a link. That's just a stupid boulder! It's not just a boulder! It's, it's a rock! A rock! <laughs> uh. There was three of them on here, and this is one of them. And the other two were giant human beings, which I will also show you, but I cannot lift those pieces. No. <laughs> Mr. Blast asked Broha, and Broha said... It's a rock. <laughs> there we go. Um, Antidivu... Oh, God, your name is always hard for me. Antidiluvian, anti-Vitruvian. Thanks for gifting a sub. This is the pleura that surrounds the lung, and this is the process of mud fossilization that's pres preserved these creatures. And I know it's called nucleophilic substitution. I completely i am fully certified in every single field <laughs> in all of them wow that's impressive sky combat fallen says spongebob is relevant to everything confirmed kr gauze says but he touches them and then sends them for dna testing and says they come back with human dna on them shocker I'm not bragging, it's just true. And anybody can go against me, come on. That's what I'm asking for. This is aluminum silicates, and the reason they form is because aluminum bonds both directions on positives and minuses. And during this particular flood and this warm water event, which Velikowski recorded, and it was recorded everywhere in the world, these things petrified. And now they're saying it's all paradiola and da, da 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 Well, guess what? They're all petrified, and they were all in the same flood at the same time. And one side is flat as a pancake, pretty much. Even the goose, you see that goose's side? <laughs> it's a goose! It's a fucking goose! Flat Look. as a pancake, pretty much. Even the Yeah, from the side, it looks a little bit like a goose head. That's nice. Goose, you see that goose's side? This side's perfect. And that's his neck. And if you put you it... You can fit so much pareidolia in this thing. <laughs> oh, man, that goose had a really square neck for some reason. That's weird. Just the right way. You can see the... the you know, the neck and all that stuff is in there. And there's a, uh, an artery right over here. You won't be able to see that probably, but it's, it's right there. And this could be tested for DNA just as much as any of the rest of them. Because I had them tested. I had that tested. And I had two other things tested. And I'll show you those right now. And that... Uh, this guy comes up fall and says, Flood, is he a young Earth creationist? Probably. Maps and Mimics with 50 bits. Uh. <laughs> 
And then Tea with Goblin says, it's a beautiful day and you're a petrified goose. That's the test. And this was six years ago. And this was a very high quality test. And it took a while and it was expensive. And I had three things done. And it came down, they had, I drilled deep inside them. I'll show you what I did in a minute. Excellent quality DNA sequences were obtained from them. Now, two of them were dense and, I mean, they all, all three of them were human mitochondrial DNA, but two of them were very dense and that's the one he's pretty much focused on. Um, because all three of them were real, but one of them was absolutely gigantic fingertip and it had actually the fingerprints on it. The lung is right here, you saw. Now, let's look at those other samples. and. To not ex They're fingerprints because they're your fingerprints, idiot. Why would there be fingerprints on a lung? <laughs> examine these. Because now you can, we can do a DNA test all day long and figure this out. And they refuse to engage, so I win by default. As, as far as I'm concerned, fiduciary failure is when professors... You're guessing the DNA test says he's the Rock's father universities look out for their own interests before the students they the students are the most fiduciary uh, overthought says his phd in sample contamination <laughs> i mean the uh, they, they are so indebted to their people that they paid they, they have to listen to them they have to do what they say or they will become destroyed now if the people that they're paying them to learn refuse to engage in reality, then is that fiduciary failure? I would say so. See, this is what really freaked them out. They went crazy when I showed them this, because this is a giant fingertip, and it is from a giant human being. It's been DNA certified, and there's fingerprints on it. How did that happen just by accident? You touched it! You touched it! <laughs> that is a fingernail, all right? This is the same thing, feldspar, aluminum silicates, and... Oh, did he say Michigan? Then it's, why is it always Michigan on the bingo card? And that's forms because of the, it, everything here is collagen, basically, on the exterior. Now, that's the little pad that goes on your back of your bone that bumps up against the next bone. Again, that's the fingernail. This thing is almost three feet long, and it is heavier than you can imagine. Now... Rachelogy says, I win by default is what I say every morning before getting back into bed for the rest of the day. I had to break off a piece here because you cannot get blood out of grip skin. And here's the grip skin and I'll show you why because it's not, it, you, otherwise you'd be bleeding all day long when you- You can't get blood out of fossils anyway. I think there was like one situation that I heard of where they found some sort of like, oh, the lab is in Michigan, gotcha. I'd count that, sure, why not? Um, they found something that they believed to be soft tissue in, in some sort of fossil, but I don't remember what the actual results of that turned out to be, but typically fossilization is not that. You do not find tissue like that. It is a record. It is inorganic material that has come in and replaced the organic material. Let me pick things up. Your grip skin is totally different than the rest. This is the grip skin. It turned out to be something else, not blood. Okay. I never saw, I don't remember, I didn't remember the follow-up. So thank you for clarifying. You see it? It's just like a rubber pad on your finger, on your palms, your fingerprints, all your feet, your toes, everywhere. Because that's where you're scrubbing everything. So it's very highly keratinized. There's no blood, basically. So I had to get below. And this is what I knocked off of there. Now, as you can see, these are the sweat pores. And that's a ridge, what they call the fingerprint ridge. You have them on yours, you can, I mean, uh, maybe unless you're in a witness protection program. <laughs> now, this, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. This, um, this finger ridge is the same size as my thumb. This thing's just absolutely gigantic. Now, how you... It's a rock! You could have fingerprints on the other side of a fingernail and not have it real and then have it tested on a DNA report and then not... Tucker White with 100 bits says, filming the screen, really? For God's sake, I figured out how to do it without a separate camera as a dumbass high schooler back in 2010. I have Harvard or Yale or any of them even be willing to examine or talk to you. He's starting with Harvard and Yale. You should have some fallback institutions <laughs> and some safeties. <laughs> 
Maybe try like the University of Alabama first. I don't know. I don't know. How about like a community college in Tennessee? Try that, and if they get back to you, you know, maybe work your way up. Hydrate. <laughs> Where does a competency, is that competent to ex to not allow it to be seen? I don't think so. Uh, evil Juggler says Roll Tide. <laughs> not in my world, it's not. Here's another one. I had this CAT scan. I'll show you that in a minute. And it was from this hand. That is a left human hand. And this was CAT's DNA tested, too, and it's human. And... Is it maybe because you keep touching all of these samples with your human hands? Have you ever actually had them sequenced to see if it's you or one of your friends who maybe touches these? Because that'd be a great idea. Uh, this is the left human hand. That's a little tendon that you have in the palm of your hand. The same thing. This is the bumper on your, you know, you have one. You feel, you feel around on your own hand. It's the same stuff. Now, remember I showed you the grip skin and it peels off? It's the same stuff here. It's, it's a different texture of skin than anywhere else on your body. And I believe there's a lot of um, gritty stuff. Oh, I know that for a fact. But I also believe there is a lot of iridium in here. I'd like to have these tested for iridium. I, don't, I have no money to do any of this stuff. I just did all this out of interest for truth and 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 it was denied by every single academic institution and it infuriated me so i said i am never going to dro drop this and um and and the 10 years of being you know a little bit upset is not healthy <laughs> but I, I think it's i think we're getting to the end of this i hope and you, I have to have you people do this. I am so cut off, I cannot even email anybody. They have me spammed in every, everywhere. So I need... I wonder why. <laughs> you know, I wonder if at any, like, conferences, it's ever come up between some, like, geologist people. Hey, did you... Did you get any of those emails from the mud fossil guy? Oh my god, he emailed you too? That has to be a conversation that happened at least once. Broha Blast says, I'll save you time. There's no iridium. <laughs> Thanks, Broha. Need somebody to attach these these things and confront all of the professors and academics. Talk to your teachers. Say, why won't you people look at this? You know, I know it's going to be scary to do that. But, you know, maybe just figure a way to do it politely or, you know, even innocuously hide it out somehow and send it to them and say, hey, you guys should be looking at this, you know. This is Bobby, the unknown guy. <laughs> but somehow we have to get this and have them actually step up. It's going to ruin them. They're ruining themselves. I'm trying to help them by saying, please look at this and then take it into a new investigative realm. But because it overthrows evolution and all of those things, basically. It doesn't. Basically. I mean, it points to God. It points to religion it points to all the things they hate really i mean and i'm not kidding you i met so much resistance almost everybody called me a creationist and a, a you know a jesus you're literally describing creationism freak and uh, uh i mean all it, it talked about the thickness of the earth and all this stuff you can't even say these words anymore because they put you in that box so don't be talking about that kind of stuff on my channel, because I get that's how I got put in the box, and and that's what they did. They came up and assaulted me with all of that stuff continuously for years, and it, it just I could never get anywhere. So I had to close that channel, start a new channel, and I still never get anywhere. I still I have 125,000 people, but there's only a couple thousand people that ever click on there. So. I, I don't think I'm being advertised anywhere. People tell me I'm shadow blocked. They can't find my channel, and that's uh, true. And I'm blocked from virtually everywhere on Facebook, so I'd say I've pretty much given up on that. Right. Decker White with 100 bits and a link. Snail. Patrick, that's a rock. Yeah, thanks, I know. He's got nerves of steel. I remember the next bit. What are you standing on? Cut to exterior. He's standing on Squidward. Brian Forrester just blocked me, blocked me this morning. Uh, I blocked it all the, you know, everywhere else. And it's because I show the truth with evidence. Not because I am just an idiot trying to be nasty to people. I just want to discuss it. I want reality and I want truth. 
And I'm not going to stand back from this. So this is the kind of like this is the kind of psychological horror that really gets to me is the concept of getting obsessed with an idea and being objectively wrong but incapable of seeing it because of your single-minded obsession with said idea. I'm sure we all do this to some extent or another in our lives. But boy, I hope I don't have something as bad as Bud Fossil Guy going on that's going to fucking ruin my life. It's horrifying that human brains can do this. Our, our psychology is just fucked. I need your help, though. I need your help. And I've been asking for it for years, and there's literally nobody's helped. I'm sorry, that's just a fact. You know, everybody's, oh, I talk to everybody, I talk to everybody, and they treat me like an idiot. Well, they will. But you're going to have to keep putting it out there. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if they won't debate, they lose by default. I am not an idiot. I have a very high IQ. I have completely understanding all this. I have so much, so much education that they could never keep up. Oh, those look like well curated lab notes. <laughs> In the lime green folder. I mean, there's nobody can step up to me oh, in the God. entire world at this point. Because this is only from 50 years ago. I have continued this forever. I have books and books and books of this stuff. Daddy Sume says it's a rock. We might have just seen this clip. <laughs> is that your one? Is that your one for the year? That's your one for the year. Congrats. <laughs> You blew your load on the 1st of February. You held out longer than I thought you could. Good job. So don't tell me I'm the fool. And I'm really, this is a noise of hell out of me. That's why I'm being a little bit nasty today, but I'm feeling nasty because I'm, I just seem to be able to be totally disregarded no matter what evidence I have. And to me, that's a fiduciary failure. And in the academic realm, they're taking money from students to be honest, and this is not what they're being as honest, and I see that as very, very serious. Very serious. And if I was a student, I would, I would be thinking about asking for my money back from some of these institutions. Why didn't they pay attention to this stuff? It looks like a well-done steak. True. Now they're saying... This is why I go rare or medium rare. Oh, it's pareidolia and, blah, 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 and trying to make a big joke out of it. No, they're never going to get away from this because now we have DNA. We have everything that can be done. And I have cat skins. I have all this. And I had had this years ago. So they are the ones that are in peril now, not me. Okay, my friends, I suggest we all email them. Because they still think this, oh, it's just ridiculous, we're ridiculous people. It says, regardless of the origin of the male bias for face pareidolia, which is not pareidolia, you can, you're looking at them, some of them are male, some of them are female. I have both, and I have both. He's literally doing the thing they're saying. Sexes, I can show you sex parts from both of them that are fossilized, <laughs> and they're big too, because I have giants as well here, and they are DNA tested, and I'll show you the body parts from them. Its existence raises interesting questions about how social norms may interact with visual perception. I can tell you what social norms are. You do what you're told, or you will go back to the fields and work as a slave, because you are a slave of academia. Now, we need to email these people. Tenure? Anyone? And straighten them out. This research has been published in... I want to see a tenured professor come out in support of this guy, just because I think it'd be super funny. <laughs> P-N-A-S. Well, what is the P-N-A-S? What is the P-N-A-S? I'm obsessed with the P-N-A-S! Show me the P-N-A-S! Right? Pro you know... Baja says PNAS is a shit-ass journal with a great name though with a great name uh, oh wait is this the journal you talked about that had a bias in there uh, is that what, the one you talked about Baja I think we had a conversation about some journal that had a gender bias uh, Narnindia Owl says, somebody called Jordan Peterson. I hear that he's kind of out of work at the moment. 
You call it penis because they are biased against women. Okay, good name then. Penis. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Well, let's see if we can do something about that. All right, I am doing a series right now on Velikovsky because he wrote all of the things that were recorded about the arrival of the waters, the flood. And it's following the seven days when the world appeared to be ablaze in the radiance of a thousand suns, the deluge started. These were stories that were written in every culture, not just one. And what happened was this gigantic, it appears to be Venus, was coming towards Earth, glowing like brilliantly. And it literally combusted the atmosphere of the Earth and wrenched the earth because of the impact of the atmospheres and and caused this gigantic flood and uh, the hindu accounts vast clouds gathered overshadowing the entire earth the ominous clouds rumbling shooting lightning overspread the skies and it goes on and on and on now at the end of the the flood well i, I don't know if it's in this part but it talks about the earth being literally boiled the, the waters were boiled, and and the waters gushed up from under the earth, and, and all of If all the oceans on the earth boiled, everything on earth would die because the entire ecosystem would collapse. Because if you boiled the entirety of the oceans, all sea creatures, and <laughs> I would imagine all plant life, or at least most of it, would die. So no... Now, India Owl says, oh, hey, there's someone admitting that young Earth model has a giant heat problem. Volcanoes on Earth erupted. You got to stop up and watch the, the series on Velikovsky or read his books. He's got like four books. That, and he was crushed by academia, same as me, same as everybody that's tried to come up with any. You haven't been crushed by academia. You're not in it. Anything that has a substance behind it. But he didn't have actual things like I have. He didn't have bones. And, and things that had turned to stone that they can't accept. He didn't have his good friend Caesar like I have, the goose. See, there's his feather. They didn't have this rock that looks like a goose! Checkmate Academia! <laughs> Peer review this goose rock! <laughs> Rageology says, um... And that's what knocked Mondus out of its orbit and spinning into the cold, away from the sun and eventually the rise of the Cybermen. Science! <laughs> Baja says all grad students are crushed by academia. It's a fucking trap. And then maps and mimics with a link. Ah. <laughs> Pattern right there. Caesar Augustus. Goose. No. You win. Okay. Keep this is all reality that has been just laughed at. And we ain't gonna laugh no more. Okay, my friends, everybody's asked how they can help. Well, here's how you can help. They are making these claims that we're just kind of crazy people. So, what, and all they're saying is, you know, they're just making it so that we seem just insane. Now, what do they say down here? Everyone else is making you seem insane. It's definitely not the things you're saying. Whoops. They say this. They talking about well, it's gender related. You can see Swiss cheese sandwiches and see this and that in them and all that crazy stuff. Now, what they're saying, the team are looking for more examples of face parodiolia, and they can be ma emailed here. I have hundreds. Of Daddy Sume with a link. I can't fap to this. I don't believe you. Try harder. The research has been published in PNAS. Now, the email, all you got to do is click there. Now, don't forget, this is the, this is the site. You know, I, I'll, I'll put a link to it. I'll put this link on the top to this, this page. And then you can come down here, and I want you to email them and say, why won't you look at Roger's work? <laughs> Makes sense. I thought the stock. research was from anus. You know, now, don't put much. His is fossils.com i had to close that i still have an email there but um this is the this is the supposed to be the big shot place pnas 
Well, what is that? What's PNAS? Well, here it is right here. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America. These are the big shots, and they're making fun of us. Face paradiola, phenomenon, phenomenon, despite our fluency in reading human faces, and they go on to just make fun of us. So let's turn it around. I want to discuss them. I want them to debate me. I want to be able to have them see the things that we talk about. And, to, and I need somebody that has a full plethora of abilities. I don't want just somebody says, I'm a geologist. No, 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 no. We say that's quartz. No. I want an anatomist. I want a physicist. I want a, a geologist. I want a chemist. I want a biologist. <laughs> the whole nine yards. Because I can talk to every single one of them on their level. No, you can't. I've done this my whole life, and I'm not new to research in any, and if you don't follow it through every broad spectrum of, of interactions between chemistry, biology, physics, everything is related. It's not a single thing that isn't related. If I was try, stopped at one thing, I'd just be like these people. So I'll go read it up. Go, oh, no, you're going to have to talk to Joss about that. Oh, no, 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 you're going to have to talk about this to somebody else. No. We need to get this done. This is ridiculous. In 10 years, and I have so much evidence in CAT scans and DNA and specimens, and everybody that understands it, but they're afraid to speak. What we need to do is email all of these people, tweet all of these people, say, look, yeah, Parker, it's Nell, time for you to people pay attention. You're the ones that are charging the kids to tell them if they don't say what you tell them to say, they will be destroyed in their life. And that's what they're doing right now. So these kids... I don't think he went to college. Really, I, as far as I'm concerned, they have every right to ask for their money back if they, these people just don't pay attention. And, I, and they're not paying attention. Absolutely not. Because I, I really, I don't think I missed any of them. <laughs> I, I well very few let's put it that way and um, so it's time for them to step up or step aside one or the other so that's Mud Fossil University okay. guy still crazy oh he did a he peer reviewed an MIT paper and by peer reviewed he means he criticized it despite not being a peer or having the ability to accurately review the information because he doesn't have any pertinent degrees <laughs> oh god this must be so bad why, why is he showing I'm atomic tests what is he doing ugh Rachelogy says, has there ever been a mass shooting at a, a, a university geolog geology department before? I don't know. And I don't wish to joke about mass shootings. <sighs> the atomic tests were secretly giant farts. That makes sense. All right. That's that, dude.